In today's flip video, we got a 2002 Ford Taurus. Let's go check it out. So it's an O2 Ford Taurus that has 150-ish thousand miles on it. Overall, the body is pretty decent. There's really no dents. The paint's decent. It needs washed up. It does have that paint issue there and a little bit right there. But that's pretty much it for the body on it. There's like no major dents, nothing big like that. The interior is probably one of the best things on this car. Of course, it needs cleaned up a little bit, but it's very clean. There's no holes or seats or, I mean, holes or rips in the seats. Very clean. It was grandma owned and it definitely looks like it. 151,000 miles on it. Now the only issue with it, it does have a uh, clogged up catalytic converter, so we're gonna have to pretty much take that off, replace that, and overall it was uh, $600, so it's pretty much, it's hard to beat. It's got cold AC as well too. The car was sitting for a little bit of time, as you can tell from, I mean, it's just got like mold or whatever you wanna call that growing on it. But after a good cleanup, it should come out no problem. And it does have a little bit of an ant infestation. Nothing too bad, I've dealt with cockroaches before and ants are way easier to get rid of, so go ahead and place some traps in there, kill all those out. And after that, it should be a really nice, you know, four tours for somebody. I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear me. It's very windy out today, but it turns out with this car, the issue is not what we originally thought. So we thought that the catalytic converter was stopped up and it acted like that. The, it sounded muffled and the cat would get pretty much glowing red hot. And the previous owner also said the cat was stopped up. So that's what, you know, everything was pointing to was a stopped up catalytic converter. But it turns out that they had the wires pretty much all messed up. This one was here. That one was there. That one was, it was just. All, so pretty much it was just firing wrong. The timing was way off and it was causing it to run really bad. <laughs> yeah, boy. So we ended up just swapping out the wires to the correct positions where they need to be and it actually runs really good. We had to replace one spark plug on it. One of them was really bad fouled. I mean, there was so much carbon deposit you couldn't even clean it off with a wire brush. Alright, start her up. Better. It's gonna be one of the quickest flips I think I've probably ever done. It literally just needed some wire swapped around and a new spark plug. And besides that, it still needs cleaned up. That's gonna happen here very shortly. There really won't be too much cleaning on this car. The outside is a little, you know, it's definitely sat for a little bit. It's a little dirty. But the interior is not bad at all. Just a quick vacuum. And yeah, this should be like a maybe a $2,000 car after everything is said and done. But yeah, that's a very quick flip. Hardly nothing wrong with this car. It's just previous, you know, error by the uh, previous owner. They just didn't know what they were doing, I guess. So let's get it. Let's clean it up. Cue the cleaning montage. This is what she looks like all cleaned up. Got the tires done, the wheels done, and the body actually looks really good on it. Came out really nice. Has a good shine to it for like a 20 year old car, basically. It is 20 years old now. The uh, the paint on the bumper definitely started peeling up a little bit more. It is what it is. Show you the interior. Got the carpets clean, the seats cleaned up some. You know, the door panels were clean, the dash was cleaned up. Came out really nice. Yep, so it's time to go get some picture of this thing, get it listed, and get it sold. Let's do a detailed breakdown to see how much we have invested in this car. The Breakdown. 
There's not much money invested into this car, so this shouldn't take long. The car costed $600, and the spark plug costed $10. And to get the car registered, that costed about $100. And that's it. I don't even have to use a calculator to figure this one out. I got about $710 invested into this car. Let's go see how much we can make off it. I took as many pictures as I could and I listed on Facebook Marketplace and I put a good detailed description. I listed it at $2,500 and that would give a little bit of negotiating room because I really don't want to take anything lower than two grand for this car. It took about three days to get someone that was actually really interested in the car and wanted to come see it. Before that, I had a lot of low ballers and just flakes and people that really aren't interested. If you sell on Marketplace, you know what I'm talking about. We agreed to meet at a save a lot because I guess she was trying to, you know, save a lot on this car. You know what I mean? No. Okay. We met. She test drove the car, she liked it, and she wanted to buy it, and I was negotiable on price, and she started negotiating, and she uh, ended up at $2,100, that's where we kind of found a good even ground, and I was fine with anything over 2 k so we shook hands at $2,100, I passed her the title and the keys, and she had a new car. Used car. New to her, though. Let's do the final breakdown. Breakdown. I had $710 invested into the car and I sold it for $2,100. Do the math and it equals out to $1,390 profit. Almost $1,400 just to swap a few wires around and do a little cleanup on a car. That's not bad at all. So I appreciate you guys for watching the video. I hope you found it entertaining. If you did, please drop a like, a sub, or comment. Anything like that is greatly appreciated. And until the next video, peace out.